What's up everybody, this is Corey Admission Side Hustle and I am on a mission to turn $500 into $1 million. Last week I spent an entire episode cleaning out our storage unit and selling everything that's been dead inventory for a while here. But today, that all changes. In fact, this week we not only go to one auction as I normally do, but we actually go to two and I spend the most money that I've ever spent in one week on flipping furniture. We buy so much good stuff this episode, this is one of the craziest ones that I've had in quite some time. But this story actually starts about a week ago when I picked up some stuff here at my local auction in the Tampa Bay area and then one week later we travel pretty far to Orlando and we buy a whole truckload of stuff. So let's get ready and get this video started. What was your name, by the way? I've never met you before. Yeah, Katrina. Katrina, all right. Yes. How's your day going? Good. Guys, like, busy, huh? Yeah. Katrina, she's just the best, you know? All right, we are in business. So here's the deal, I am very busy today, so I'm in a hurry. But today's the last day you can pick up from the auction house, so let's go ahead and head there, load this thing up, and I'm just gonna park this out front of my house for like, probably till tomorrow when I have some time to actually go to my unit and unload this stuff, because right now I'm slammed today, so I'm in a big hurry. I realized I forgot my dolly, I realized I forgot my moving pads, I forgot my ratchet straps. I'm completely unprepared, but we're gonna get this done anyway. Let's get to it. service. I feel pretty confident saying this table might be the best buy of the auction. I bought this for $275. I'm going to go on a limb and say $1,500. Let's see what happens. Bummer. $275 for the patio, $120 for this table and six chairs. We're doing all right. Okay, dude, 10 bucks for that desk. That's a deal. All right, <laughs> oh, it's on my mouth, sorry. <laughs> so I have, a, I have a work meeting today at 12.30, so it is 12.26 right now. I got two items left, so I'm gonna throw on my Bluetooth headphones and just kind of wrap up these last two items and finish up for today and then unload everything tomorrow. So let's go ahead and wrap up here. I've got a lot of really good stuff and I think we're gonna make a little bit of money on this even before we go to the next place and spend a lot more money. So let's finish up here. Those guys help me because they want my spot. Okay, I'm all done here. I'm on the meeting. Finally, I've had so many problems, so I just need to wrap up the video, finish up my meeting, and I'll catch up with you guys when I'm unloading this stuff at my unit. Let's go. All right, now here we are for the fun part. We gotta get all the stuff out of this truck, get some pictures taken, get it into the storage unit, get it all posted. It's kind of a muggy day out today. It's a little breezy, so that feels good, but very humid. You kind of feel that breeze though. It's not so bad. But as per usual, I have no time to be doing this. It always seems to be this way. I never have like just a lot of time to film and get everything done. So like usual, we're gonna hurry up and get this thing started and get it all going. Let's get to it. An 
able to display. Okay, I'll be doing a lot of filming on my GoPro today because I'm not sure if my camera's working properly and I don't want to do all this and not get the shots. Ah, perfect. Let's get it off. Okay, so I just realized that I forgot my phone at home, which means I can't take the photos of the items like I normally do. And yes, I know I'm talking to a camera right now, but again, I don't know even know if it's working. I can see myself, it says recording, but when I try to see the pictures, it doesn't work. So hopefully I'm not recording and just talking to myself. But anyway, I can't take the photos I want to take. I always take them on my phone so I can just upload them straight to Facebook. If I do them on my GoPro or my camera, I have to upload on my computer and then you get the idea. But we're almost done. Okay, we're we'll right down the street from Budget Truck Rental, but we gotta go right now. I don't want any late fees. I don't want to rent it again for another day. I didn't get pictures because I don't have time, but I'm thinking hopefully I can come back later, get those pictures and make that happen. All right, let's go to the truck rental. <laughs> All set. All right guys, so today we're doing something that I'm very excited about. We're heading all the way to Orlando to go to the estate auction there. It's about a two and a half hour drive. And unfortunately, it's incredibly bad weather. It's rainy, it's windy. I know traffic's gonna be bad. Today could be really fun or it could be a massive headache. But either way, we're giving it a shot and we're gonna get a big old truck right now. And we just got to the budget truck rental office, so we're gonna go ahead and pick up the reservation we have today. But before I go in there, I do wanna mention the items that I just picked up from that other auction. I did quite a bit of research on them. I actually spent a lot of time at the storage unit the other day getting them ready. Generally what I'll do is I'll always clean everything down with this spray solution that I have and give it a good wipe down. Then I'll kind of find if there's any blemishes or scratches or different things like that. And I have some color matched markers that I use uh, to get into that wood and hopefully make it a little bit better. So I spent a lot of time on the table and chairs that I have. And then I also pulled out that really big aluminum patio set. I uh, got that taken care of, some pictures and everything. And I wanted to highlight this because these were very interesting finds that I ended up getting. I found out that patio set sells for like $3,500 new. And I listed it last night for $1,600. So that one's gonna be a really big sale if we can kind of keep it in that range. The crazy thing though is that couch. It doesn't look like much. Honestly, it's kind of unassuming when you look at it. The manufacturing is called Deceed. I, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's D-E-S-E-D-E. -E -E. And I found some exact matches online selling on websites like First Dibs or Cherish or any of these more specialty sites. And I have found this exact sofa selling for like $4,000 and I bought it for 200 bucks. Oh, no way. Look at this. This is the couch that I bought and this is what it's going for online on First Dibs. I'm telling you guys, it's the same exact couch. I'm not saying I'm going to sell it for that, but I'm going to at least try listing it on those same exact specialty sites and seeing if maybe we can score a massive, massive deal because that's a huge margin if we can pull that one off. We've got a lot of cash to spend and we're hoping to do so right now. Let's get this truck and get on the move. Katrina is the Avis, the Avis legend. Thank all right? you, right. She is. <laughs> I'm serious. All right, thanks Katrina, see ya. Let's go. All right, so we just got here and it turns out on the first one to arrive, which is great news, they open in about 10 minutes. There's a Wawa right across the street. So I'm gonna get a bite to eat real quick because I haven't eaten anything the whole day and I'm starving. You know, driving to Orlando is not always fun, but it, I guess it wasn't so bad. Go! But the point is that we're here now. So let's go ahead, get some food, Go inside, check out the items, do a little research, and start bidding some money. Let's go. Give me one minute, give me one minute.
Okay, so I just got to go inside and check out the items in advance. And this week, I think we've got some really, really good targets. Specifically, you guys might have caught those entertainment centers that I saw while in there. A lot of them are still new in the box. In fact, all of them are still new in the box, except for the one example they have set up for each one. There's two styles. One's more open and kind of boxy, and one's more mid-century modern design. The mid-century sells for 150 Walmart, and the more boxy one sells for about 175 Walmart. Additionally, there was a Tommy Bahama sofa that I really like a lot, so hopefully I can go ahead and grab that one. It's not Tommy Bahama brand. If it were, that would be very, very expensive, but that style sells pretty well where I'm at. There was also a really expensive bathroom vanity. I've sold one of those in the past for quite a bit of money. Anything that's modern and I know is going to sell very well, I'm gonna go ahead and try to buy it because we've got this U-Haul and uh, I'm not gonna fill it up with just entertainment centers. So let's do a little research and then head on in and start bidding. Getting five of them brand new in the box. Does everybody understand? You're bidding on a set of five. Oh. <laughs> five to look similar to that. <laughs> You bought it 225 to bid her 240. 240. You bought it 225 to bid her 240. You bought it 250 to bid her 240. Bid her 240. All right, so I just came out here from the auction. There's still about an hour left, but man, I've been buying so much stuff that I've been in there. I'm starting to get concerned that I might not have space in my truck here for anything else. I've probably bought like total 40 or 50 of those entertainment centers, which I'll talk more about those later, but yeah, I've bought a lot of them. So I wanna go ahead and start getting things loaded. I bought a really nice leather sectional. I bought like a Tommy Bahama style sofa and, um, and love seat, so I think those are gonna be really good sales. And I also bought like an entire Raton living room set. My problem is I just think I might be getting out of space. So let me load up, see if I got any room left. And if I do, I'll go back in and keep going. But if I'm full, it's time to pack up and get out of here. But let's check it out and see where we're at. Hey, I think there's one more thing. Okay. Oh. oh, oh, God. I guess you would say tonight was a pretty big success. We bought a lot of stuff. We spent a lot of money. I spent about 5,400 total after all the fees and everything. Oh, but boy, am I tired. And now I got to drive back an hour and a half. So I don't want to film too much. I'm exhausted. I got a long drive ahead of me. Uh, and I'm feeling stressed out because I need more space. So you might have noticed, I bought a lot at the auction yesterday. Feeling pretty pumped up because of it. I know when we sell all this stuff, we're gonna make a ton of money. But I would say arguably the easy part and the fun part is done, which is buying everything. And now the hard part really begins. And that's getting everything out of here, getting it stored properly in the storage unit, and getting stuff sold. And between you and me, I'm not sure if I got that much space after all. Check it out. So even though we just cleared this thing out, we've already got about half this unit starting to fill up again, which does leave me for a whole half here to get stuff in it, but I don't know if that's gonna cut it. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is just drive this truck around to the other side of the unit and start getting it loaded. Let's get to it.
good, bro. What can I say? Give me a like for that. Come on. I'm a little nervous to move this thing by myself because it might not structurally be just like super sound like a new one would be. But I gotta get it off, so I don't think I have a choice. Hmm. 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 I think I got it. <laughs> I'm glad you're here. I was getting ready to do something stupid. I was actually gonna put, I mean, I don't think it's that stupid, but it's definitely some degree of stupid. It was gonna be putting this flat on his back and then I was gonna lift it up and use my flat dolly to, to take it down here. But uh, just using two people will be a whole of a lot better idea. Man, I hope, I didn't, I really underestimated how messed up the siding was. All right, so now I got everything off of here except for that last piece of the sectional. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take all these items, put them right over here, get some really nice photos with, in the shade because when they're in the sun, it's just too harsh for the photos. So we're going to need everything pulled over here, get measurements, get photos, put it in the storage unit, and then I'll be all done today. So let's keep going with that. Right, guys that's a wrap we got everything put away we've got the truck emptied out except for those four uh consoles that i'm gonna take home with me set up stage them get some pictures and then get all of these things posted and man we gotta start making some sales because this thing is packed full and it's not gonna do me any good unless we start selling the stuff and making some of that money back let's head to my house and we'll talk about the money this episode, we spent a total of $6,695, which is a ton of money for our channel. Now out of that, $1,330 was the cost for all the fees, all the taxes, the truck, and the gas to get everything taken care of. Which means we purchased new inventory of $5,365. This does take our channel net worth down to $29,308, but man, when we start selling, we're gonna make that money back so, so fast. I'll put a full financial breakdown and description of all the items that I bought. It's just too much to talk about on here, but if you guys Want to see it'll be in the description Cash and as always thank you guys so much for watching we'll see y'all next week